It's no secret an eclipse is coming and it's being cast right over Rainbow High. That's right, the colorful doll line that's dominated the doll community is now throwing shade with its sistering doll line, Shadow High. We'll be discussing all the cheeky and shady references Shadow High has already made. Did you know Sunny Madison has a sister attending Shadow High? Plus, LinkedIn is hardly a place for doll leaks, but I'll be detailing all the drama about how somebody impersonated me to leak Shadow High. Holla holla, Claudina Nine here, and today we'll be discussing all the details you need to know about Shadow High, from price points to release dates and all the shady secrets. But first, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and hit subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Now, let's dive in. So what exactly is Shadow High? Is it a separate brand? Is it supposed to be a copy of something else? I've got all the answers for you. Rainbow High is one of MGA Entertainment's many uber successful doll properties. While the line has only been around for a little over a year, Rainbow High has already been recognized by the Toy Association being nominated for Doll of the Year and even won several awards via fan vote on my friend's channel, The Doll Circle. Now, as of 2022, the franchise is expanding, introducing a sistering school, Pacific Coast High, and a rivaling school, Shadow High. On September 6, 2021, MGA Entertainment filed a trademark for Shadow High and fans went crazy. Some fans were in disbelief. They didn't even think this was gonna be an actual doll line, while other fans must have had psychic abilities because they theorized this was gonna be a rivaling school. The description for Shadow High reads, Shadow High is tired of Rainbow High winning and manipulating everything. This year, Shadow High will no longer be the art school hidden in the shadows. Here, the talent is unwavering and the creativity is unmatched. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. These students may thrive in the shadows, but they always let their true colors shine. Fast forward to the 14th of Twin, Yingzi doll shared images of what appeared to be new Rainbow High bodies. Again, some fans remain skeptical with this user saying, these are literally practice bodies, nothing special. To which another responded, they could be, but usually practice bodies aren't produced in a solid color. They're usually mismatched and won't have the underwear painted on. This is important to know because leak fun fact, while it isn't impossible, typically when a doll body has painted on underwear, it means it's leaning towards the final stages of production and in this case, it totally was. Only five days later, more news leaked. An Amazon listing revealed that Ainsley is gonna be a doll in this Shadow High line, which is now confirmed to be Ainsley's fashion trunk show. The description reads, Ainsley Slater may be the new girl at Shadow High, but her talent for accessory and fashion design speaks for itself. She's new to these hallways, but Ainsley is ready to rule with all her stunning outfits from the trunk show playset. Create over 400 stylish looks, 10 plus fashion pieces, four pairs of shoes, hangers, and a comb. Also includes an exclusive fashion doll. Originally, this playset was gonna be released in May, but now it's looking like it won't be released until June, likely because of supply chain issues, which is probably why we haven't seen any leaks yet. Comment down below, are you excited to finally get an Ainsley doll? And do you think that we'll get her original color scheme with the purple hair, or are we gonna see her in full grayscale? Oh, you thought that was the tea? The next day, an international Amazon leaked the rest of the Shadow Highline under their code names, D-O-E-C-T-I and G-R. But what are these letters and what do they mean? Fans are always confused about it, so let me explain. Normally, these codes are the first two letters of the color of the doll. So for example, D-O stands for Dove, which is Natasha Zima. T-I stands for Titanium, which is Nicole Steele. And G-R stands for Gray, which is Heather Grayson. Now is when the real drama starts. A month later, Monster High posted, can you keep a secret? Tomorrow, we're bringing you the booze who a freak chic fat fashion with a silhouette of the new dolls. The very next day on February 17th, Rainbow High threw major shade by posting, we can keep a secret too, with a silhouette behind Violet. Talk about a shady reference. Fans were living for the drama with this user writing, the girls are fighting. Another shared, oh, the shade. And even one user reading Rainbow High in return with, actually y'all can't keep a secret. We always see your products leaked every time. Ouch. Well, apparently that comment range true because a week later at ashton.silverstone on Instagram shared some leaked images of the Shadow High store displays likely to be used in Walmart or Target stores. The characters' artworks depicted on the gondola have Natasha Zima and Heather Grayson. But Shadow High literally responded to this leak by starting up the Shadow High Instagram account. This sent fans wild. Crazy, right? Like, was this a real account? Was this a fake fan-made account? 
nobody knew what was going on. People needed to know the truth. So one user commented, is this real or just a random person making this account? And another posting, WTF, um, hi, just a question, is this account real? It was a huge debate with people whether the account was real or not for a while, with one user commenting, it's probably fake, Rainbow High doesn't follow this account. Now that it's been a few weeks, we know the truth, and that makes this all the more exciting. The official Shadow High page made fun of themselves by saying, clearly they can't keep a secret. Skull emoji. This is peak marketing. Whoever is running the Shadow High Instagram page is genius, needs a raise. I love this kind of like breaking the fourth wall marketing, so good job. But this is not the last scandal. Just wait until you hear how Natasha Zima leaked on the internet in a little bit. Only two days after that leak, another leak came out by Yingzi.doll on Instagram that appears to be Natasha Zima. And that same day, Shadow High shared a teaser of Chanel. And this is where the campaign for hashtag team Shadow High or hashtag team Rainbow High began. Comment down below, are you team Shadow High or team Rainbow High? Well, I can officially share that my application to Shadow High has been accepted and I got an acceptance letter from MGA Entertainment that literally says we are writing the one and only Claudina. They sent over this huge PR box that looks like a laptop with a top secret password to get access. They also sent over a horizontal poster that says hashtag team Shadow High with all six of the first core characters. How fierce. And they also sent over my student ID card, which is my favorite photo of myself. <laughs> it's almost time to share all the details you've been dying to know, but now how did I get roped into more drama? It is quite the story. On March 17th, someone impersonated me on LinkedIn, LinkedIn of all places and wrote, I love this beautiful shadow high Natasha doll Elvira Taylor sent me pictures of. Hashtag MJ Entertainment, hashtag the doll circle, hashtag Claudia nine, hashtag new product leaks. Let me publicly announce that this was not me and Elvira definitely did not send me this picture, nor would I ever so carelessly leak product, especially with a brand that I'm working with. So nice try, but I stay on point and just as sharp as my claws. So this seems to have been somebody trying to get me and Elvira kicked off of the MGA PR list in this odd stunt to simultaneously leak Natasha. I don't know. It's not the most bizarre thing to have happened to me doing YouTube videos, but um, if anything, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I'm sure a year from now, the rest of us can look back and laugh. But anyways, there's nothing laughable about the bold, beautiful, and daring Shadow High dolls. Comment down below your rankings of each character. I want to test which ones are the most popular, but my own personal rankings are Heather Grace of course, then Ash Silverstone, Chanel Onyx, Nicole Steele, Luna Madison, and Natasha Zima in last place. Today I'll be going over Heather Grayson, but some important details to note is that Ash includes AirPods. And just imagine 10 years from now when AirPods are a thing of the past and how nostalgic that will be, have a doll with AirPods on them. Luna Madison is actually the sister of Sunny Madison, and I have lots more tea to spill, so keep on watching. The Shadow High dolls come in a box nearly identical to the Rainbow High boxes. They're slightly altered, having a different display window on top, and naturally they read Shadow High instead of Rainbow High. The boxes are mirrored from Rainbow High, so instead of the doll being on the left, she is on the right. According to the box, Heather is a special effects makeup focus. Each Shadow High doll will include a comb, a doll stand, second pair of shoes, and a second outfit with tons of options to mix and match looks. They will retail at $29.99, which if you aren't a doll collector, is an exceptional price point for the amount of detail you're getting here. I'll be including each doll's UPC code and target DPCI number for your convenience. Rumor has it the dolls will be available mid to late April, but unfortunately because of the supply chain crisis, release dates are up in the air. Happy hunting. Heather has long center parted kiwi nylon hair with low lights and highlights of grayish hair streaks so the hair doesn't look so flat. Genius. I really love that they engineered that detail into the hair. Her head sculpt is from 2021 and appears to be the oval shape that Margot de Perla has with the original eyes, mouth, and nose of the first Rainbow High dolls. Her eyes are an ice blue with rooted lashes and the same acrylic eyes as all the other Rainbow High dolls. She has an edgy new hand sculpt with black painted stiletto shaped nails and a molded on ring on her thumb. Now that is how you do detail on a doll. She has 11 points of articulation with full range at the neck, shoulders, forearms, wrists, thighs, and knees. 
Shadow High introduces a brand new doll stand with studs on it, as well as the Shadow High emblem on the front. Heather includes 11 accessories, that's eight hair rings, two of which hold her hair bundles not attached to her scalp, which I don't think we've ever seen on a doll before, so very innovative. Her choker, her earrings, and then her designer referenced outfit. I couldn't find a reference for her snakeskin dress, but I did find the reference for her jacket, which seems to reference Supreme Vanson leather skeleton jacket having embroidery patches on the sleeves and lace-up elements on the back that have actual grommets. This is truly insane, the amount of hardware on the doll alone. It just, it blows my mind. Her shoes may be loosely referencing Gucci sandals with snake element heels or the Akira Azalea Wang Queen of King boots. Also included on the influencer briefing is each character's full name and school focus. One thing I want to make very clear is that Shadow High is its own unique, original, individual brand. When you really pay attention to the doll line and look at the details, it doesn't seem to copy any other doll line. And while we've had black and white dolls before, we've never really seen an entire doll line that is completely grayscale. This line seems to be made to appeal to an edgier, alternative audience that may not vibe with Rainbow High, but still is into high fashion. And I don't like that because this line leans towards an alternative style that people are comparing it to other doll lines because when you compare it to anything else it's just simply not at all the same idea as any other doll line. And when you're able to see the franchise from that angle, you're really able to appreciate the line in its full capacity and the creativity that's gone behind each of these dolls. I think this line has a lot to offer and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for it. But even with the song, everyone's so perfect and so neat from the bougie school across the street. So this implies that Shadow High isn't the perfect, prestigious school that Rainbow High is. They aren't luxury or elite, but they sound pretty contempt towards Rainbow High and, and their like posh, pretentious demeanor. They all dress so fly, but underneath they wanna be like us. And I wonder if this implies that Shadow High is a little less uptight and that they may be a little bit more rebellious and carefree, which is why they might be like, you know, Rainbow High seems to copy them all the time. The rivalry we're getting out of this is really reminding me of Camp Rock versus Camp Star. Does anybody remember that? Because that is what it's giving for some reason. I have a feeling that Shadow High in the animated series will give off this we're better than you because we don't follow conventional standards and you guys are always copying us type of vibe. Comment down below, what are your theories for Shadow High and what do you hope to see for the future of the franchise? If you enjoyed today's video, you'll love all my other videos, which you can check out by clicking the links in the description. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and hit subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Thanks for watching. See ya.